One bullet can kill, but sometimes 20 don't. This is exactly what has happened with Tarek Zahed. It's a matter of total straight luck, and anybody who gets shot is lucky to be alive. While surviving numerous gunshots could be a miraculous feat. Doctors who have treated gunshot victims say that being shot is not automatically a death sentence. Rapper 50 Cent was shot nine times in 2000 and has since released three albums. And in 2006, Joseph Guzman survived 19 gunshot wounds during the 50-shot fusillade by New York police detectives. He lives on with four bullets in his body. When major organs like the heart and brain and especially the blood vessels are avoided, the chances of survival are good. The catch, of course, is that there is no science to preventing a bullet from hitting a vital part of the body. Comanchero Sergeant at Arms Tarek Zahed has been left almost completely blind and now could lose his leg and arm after being shot alongside his brother in a brazen gangland hit outside a Sydney gym. Zahed, 41, and his brother Omar, 39, were gunned down in a hail of at least 20 bullets as they left the BodyFit gym in Auburn, in the city's southwest, on May 10. Omar died at the scene while his older brother was rushed to hospital fighting for life. He was taken into surgery with 10 bullet wounds to his head and body, and is now in a serious but stable condition. After surviving more than a week, which doctors say is no less than a miracle, doctors are now deciding whether they will need to remove his arm and leg. The Comanchero sergeant at arms completely lost sight in his right eye in last week's attack, leaving him virtually blind as he already had 20 to 30 percent vision in his left eye. He had an incident years ago that means vision in his left eye is only 20 to 30 percent. In discussion with doctors who conducted similar cases it was noted that these kind of situations involve various surgeries, including stitch-up of the eye, enucleation or removal of the damaged eyeballs, and eyelid reconstruction, and also filling up of eye orbit with fat from other parts of patient's body. So with him likely being blind in his right eye now, he will be almost completely unable to see. They don't know what will happen with his arm and legs, they were shredded by the bullets. He also took three shots to the pelvis, and was shot in the head, arms, legs and stomach. Gunshot wounds are complex, violent, traumatic injuries commonly encountered in forensic practice. These injuries are caused by penetration of the body with projectiles ejected from a barrel due to the ignition of gunpowder. Leg wounds can result in amputated limbs or even death, if a piece of shrapnel or a bullet ruptures particular veins or arteries. If the arteries or veins die this could cause infection and gangrene to set in the body which can cause death, therefore amputations becomes necessary. Doctors will only be able to make decisions on amputations after few weeks of close monitoring and tests. Whatever is the case, it is now clear that Tarek Zahed would not have a normal life as before and his dependence on others will increase. Being a gunshot survivor he would need long-term rehabilitation and may not be able to get back to pre-injury functional status.